I've kind of always struggled to understand what exactly my purpose is here because I've always in my mind had this idea that you know purpose should be something that is naturally something that you're good at or a hobby that you've always had from childhood or something that you just genuinely enjoy doing all growing up I've seen my sisters being able to sing or dance or be creative with their hands and I just felt like where do I really stick like what really suits me but I'm here today to talk to you guys about some of these ideologies and some of these false things that we continue to hold in our minds about what purpose looks like because it's not a one size fits all we're all created with different gifts different talents and different abilities and we just need to be able to find out how to use these things for the greater good to be able to benefit people and generations coming behind us hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so purpose today i'm here to talk to you about purpose now according to the dictionary the word purpose means the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. So for us as individuals, for us as human beings, what is the reason we were placed on this earth? What is the reason for our being? So it's actually a coincidence that this idea for a topic has come to mind at the point at which I've reached 100 subscribers. So thank you so, so much for everyone that continues to engage with my content, to watch it. I really do appreciate all your love and support. So in this video, I'm just basically going to talk to you guys about some of these like myths and some of these false things that we may have held in our minds for a long time, especially where we might see others, you know, speeding ahead of us and doing great things. And we feel that we're just in this stagnant place of no growth and basically just not really knowing what we're supposed to do and what we're good at so yeah i'm gonna talk to you guys through five points hopefully these will encourage you and help you to push on to finding your purpose if you haven't done so already so this first idea on purpose is the fact that some are born knowing it's just like this innate feeling you sort of like grow up knowing that you're a singer or a dancer or you're good at doing hair or you're interested in makeup and you know creative things like that things that you can do physically with your hands but at the end of the day we're not all born like this i don't feel that i was born this way i don't feel like i was born like, feeling like you know yeah this is what i'm supposed to do there was a point when i enjoyed drawing but that didn't really stick around for too long there was a point when i also felt like i wanted to model but at the same time it just didn't really stick like those weren't things that i felt that you know what i'm gonna run with this so yeah we aren't all born knowing what exactly it is that we are supposed to do or what it is that we're gonna end up doing that will impact the world in a greater way some of us have to dig a little deeper and find what that thing is this brings me on to point number two don't compare yourself to others just because you see your sibling or a friend you know doing great things you feel like at such a young age they've tapped into their purpose and they're going out there and they're touching lives impacting people don't be shaken by that all right some people do know straight away what it is they're meant to do and they are gifted in that way but just because you don't see yourself shining in the same light does not mean that you aren't supposed to do great things also you just need to find what that thing is and tap into it you just need to find what your strengths and talents are some may be more conventional things that you can do physically or with your hands and others are more unconventional you just need to do your research dig a little deeper and find out where it is Point number three, I like the way these are flowing into each other, I haven't even done this intentionally. Point number three, purpose doesn't always have to do with something that you can do physically with your hands. It doesn't always have to be a physical thing. So for example, purpose doesn't have to align with being, you know, an MUA or a singer or somebody that, you know, is good with their hands, basically. They're a good painter. It doesn't always align in that way. Sometimes your purpose can just be about speaking to people, teaching people, you know, being an academic, it can just be sharing your voice, for example, on a platform like this. At the age of 27 or about 26 and a half, that is the point I feel that I've started to identify what my purpose is. And that I believe is sharing my voice, like on this YouTube platform, for example. So all along I've been thinking, okay, what exactly is it that I'm supposed to do? There was a point when I thought I need to go into the fashion side of things. So I do like clothes, I like playing around with combinations. But I just felt that I wasn't really gaining the sort of innate joy and like I didn't see it being something that I'd be interested in doing it in the long run. But whereas now I feel that I've sort of found my niche and my niche is basically just showing myself, showing who I am as an individual with you guys. Showing the fact that what really excites me is the fact that we have so many opportunities to be able to create the lives that we want to live. What drives me every single day is waking up knowing that, you know what, there's so many things that I can put my hands into, find other creative ways of trying to, you know, better my life, bring in more money for myself, bring in financial independence for myself. Those are the kind of things that excite me and I 
feel that is where my purpose lies so for example taking you guys along with me in terms of my investing journey you know the fact that I'm getting involved in property and you know some other projects that I'm working on that I will hopefully share with you guys too soon so it's just things like that I feel that I'm finding my purpose in being a voice using this platform to share what I'm doing and hopefully encourage others other young people to do similar and just better themselves and point number four work on what you enjoy doing so when i say work on what you enjoy doing this is essentially what is going to bring you to that place of identifying what it is that you were created to do what you need to be pursuing sometimes it also just takes you branching out a little bit doing some research reading who knows it could be you just browsing on the internet and sort of like tapping into different areas that could lead you to finding the area that is you trying out different things different activities go online you know join different clubs different communities and from doing that you'll begin to identify and align with one or two things that potentially you know stick with you and you, you'll get a feeling like hmm maybe this is something that I should be doing so for me I kind of found that my thing was more on the entrepreneurial side when I saw that I am very very much interested in making money like I want to make money and I want to make loads of it I'm not gonna lie about that and the reason being is because I want to be able to have the kind of life that I want to live I don't want to have to be tied down and work when I don't necessarily feel like working you know I have my creative spurts of energy I have my times when I really want to go hard and work and then there's other times when I just want to relax and I want to be able to have that balance of life and I can only create that living on my own terms so that's why I'm constantly looking around Around, trying to tap into different things that I can be doing in my spare time to also allow me to live the kind of life as a freelancer which I'd like to do in the long run so to summarize on this point number four just do you yeah your gift your talent your purpose does not have to look like the person next to you it doesn't have to be a physical thing it doesn't have to be about being a great singer or an actress it could just be about you using your voice it could be an entrepreneurial thing it could be about you being an SME subject matter expert and sharing that with others and teaching people and educating others on those things don't be too narrow-minded there's enough space on this earth for all of us and we can all do and achieve great things so the fifth and final point is that there is no age limit on identifying your purpose all right don't put too much pressure on yourself so earlier on in the video I made mention to the fact that I'm 27 years old now and I'm only just realizing what my purpose is or sort of you know walking along the path of what I think my purpose is be a voice to encourage and motivate others to achieve achieve great things to work on ourselves to build legacies so 10 years ago I wouldn't have been saying this 10 years ago I was a lot more narrow-minded in terms of trying to find a purpose or something that I could be good at that would be a physical thing or more tangible thing but over the years overseeing the fact that I can't force myself into a thing or force myself into enjoying or being good at what others are doing it has led me to understand that sometimes these things just take time but as long as you're moving forward as long as you're trying out different things testing the waters you're doing well it may take you 10 years it may take you 20 years it may take you 30 years even but that doesn't matter it's just about taking steps forward as long as you're doing something and you're constantly you know working on yourself and you know finding ways to challenge yourself and just find something that you can do to better the world something that you can do to give back in some way or another you're doing well and you're on the right track you may try one thing you may try two things you may try a handful of things before you finally find what exactly it is that you're meant to do but you'll get there one day but you just got to work in your own time do not compare yourselves to others do not look at what other people are doing you weren't made to be a replica of them you're made to be yourself and that's what I'm learning to understand. And I'm grateful for the lesson because it's taken me a while to get here, but I am enjoying the journey now. I feel like now I've really stepped into my season and I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Guys, that brings me to the end of this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do let me know what you think down in the comments. What has been your thinking about purpose and your ideologies? What have people told you? What have you felt? Do you know what your purpose is? Please do let me know down in the comments. And as always, please do also drop some comments about other topic areas that you like me to cover any other experimental type videos that you also like me to record so like my food shopping video that i shared with you guys a couple weeks ago and also my meal prep that i did last week do you want to see more of that please please do let me know and i'll go ahead and create videos like that for you so anyway thank you for watching and i'll catch you next week bye